In this video, you're gonna learn how to get a stretch resolution in Fortnite just by tweaking a few simple settings on your PC. Obviously, there are plenty of benefits to using a stretch resolution, like bigger player models, which improves your aim, allows for much more accurate edits, gives you a much higher FPS that significantly lowers your input delay, among many more. Now, depending on the kind of PC you've got, you can adjust your resolution accordingly. If you've got a super high-end PC, which would be an RTX 2070 Ti and above, I would either use 1811 by 1080 or 1750 by 1080 and this can instantly give you a 14.7% increase in FPS. For a mid-end PC, I would use 1680 by 1080 or 1656 by 1080 and you should see an FPS increase of almost about 27% with these resolutions. And finally, if you've got a low-end PC which is any of the GTX series, you could use 1024 by 768 or 1280 by 1080 and this will significantly boost your FPS by almost about 50%. Now to actually tweak these settings, head over to your desktop and press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. And then inside this prompt box, type in percentage local app data percentage. Hit OK and then navigate to Fortnite game folder, click saved, config, Windows client and here is the file that you're going to be making all the changes to. Before you open it, right click on it and then head over to properties and make sure to uncheck this box right here that says read only. This will allow for any changes made to the file to appear in game. Once this is done, hit apply and now you can open it up. Once it's open, you want to scroll all the way down and try to find resolution size X and resolution size Y. So you're going to be changing these four values right here. And if you scroll down a little, you're also going to be changing your desired screen height and width and the two options below that. So now go ahead and type in your desired screen resolution or the ones that I mentioned based on the PC that you have. Since I have an RTX 3070 Ti and I also have a weird monitor, the resolution that worked for me was 1600 by 1000. So you're going to be applying these values to these four sections which is resolution X and Y and last confirmed and you're also going to scroll down and change the desired resolution or screen height and width from right here. Now just to let you guys know, the reason why I'm using 1600 by 1000 and not any other resolution is because if I use anything else, it would give me these weird annoying black bars on the sides of my screen and I'm going to be talking to you guys about it later on in the video so stick around to watch exactly what you need to do in order to get rid of those black bars. With that being said, once you've applied all the changes on this file, make sure to save it and go on to properties once again and check the box that says read only. If you don't change it, all your applied changes are going to be lost every single time you update Fortnite. Now for most people, this should be all and as soon as you start Fortnite, you should be able to see the stretch resolution. However, if for some reason you're still on the native resolution even after changing values on game user settings file, you're going to have to head over to Nvidia control panel and then click on customize resolution and then create a custom resolution. Type in the same values that you've typed in for Fortnite and this will change the resolution across your desktop and then when you open Fortnite, you should be able to see the new stretch res. Now if you don't like a stretch resolution across your desktop and you only want it for Fortnite, you can actually go back to Nvidia control panel and change your settings back to the native res and that's not gonna hamper with your Fortnite settings. So that's pretty much how you get stretch resolution in Fortnite. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comment section. That being said, thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.